Oh, look at this. Holy crap. Oh, it's huge. Oh my God. This is absolutely the biggest pickerel I've ever caught in my life. Look at this thing. <clears throat> hey everybody, Don here again. Well, I'm doing something totally different today. It's about seven o'clock, a little after, and I got a bucket of shiners back behind me. Now, if I go three miles upriver, two and a half to three miles upriver, I will come to an area where I've historically caught a lot of yellow perch. But if I go about a mile downriver, I'll come to the dam and it's pretty deep in there. And I think I'm gonna be able to catch some perch in the deeper water. Problem is the river is so low, I'm afraid if I go upriver three miles, I'm gonna run into shallow water where the perch usually are in the weeds. <clears throat> and it'll be a wasted effort. So there's not a lot of current in this river. There's a flood control dam, like I said, about a mile down. So that's where I'm gonna head. Now, I'm gonna try a few other things. There's some good smallmouth bass in here. And I may, uh, even though Russell and I are, are through as far as the uh, competition goes, I may see if I can catch a decent bass on the, uh, on the Lunker Hut uh, Gambit swim bait. So stick around, down river I go. Beautiful overcast morning, but I think the clouds are going to burn off relatively quickly. Any volunteers in there? Yep. These shiners that I got are quite a bit bigger than I would like. But the only place that was open that had any had all mediums. It's all right. Big shiner equals a big perch, right? I'm banging on the bottom. <laughs> well, I got my first perch. I don't think it's a keeper. No. Hey, you guys gonna. Oh, he spit my shiner. My shiner is still alive. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Get me all tangled up. Well, this is uh, kind of one of the things I was afraid of. Is that I'd get nothing but little perch. There's another one. Took my shiner and all of another five, six inch perch. Oh. Come on, let go. You guys are just like bound to poke me. I guess that's uh, what I get, right? Another five, six inch perch. Not what I'm looking for. Chatterbait. Let's see if there's some bass in here. There we go. What do we got? Oh, I think I lost it. No, it's still on there. Nice and digging deep. Pickerel. Decent one. Holy moly. Oh. Oh. Come on, buddy. Give me my net. <laughs> That's a nice pickerel. Oh, no complaints about that. Wow. I told you. This tree. Okay, don't slime me. Yeah. Don't cut my... Oh, you got my chatterbait right out. That's a decent pickerel. You know, 
I complain about pickerel a lot of the time, but they're fun to catch. I complain about them because lots of times they steal my my lure. Hey, come back after me. <laughs> Sweet, nice pickerel. They're a lot of fun to catch. We're coming up to the dam. You can see the debris catchers that stretch across the river and they collect all the trees and debris that gets washed down here every spring. And there's, there's the dam. Now the water underneath me is probably 40, maybe pretty close to 30 or 40 feet deep, maybe that way a little farther. <clears throat> But uh, this is all Army Corps of Engineers flood control. The Pemi, this river, the Pemi Jawasset, starts way up in the mountains in New Hampshire. There's a little trout stream, basically. Just a few miles down past this dam, it joins with the... Um, Winnipesaukee River and becomes the Merrimack and the Merrimack runs into the Atlantic down well, right down by the coast of uh, on the border between Massachusetts and New Hampshire I drop my uh, chatterbait here just to get an idea how deep it is. Oh, it's not as not as deep as I thought. Huh? I bet it's only right here. 20 feet deep. Oh, there we go. Ooh, I got something decent. Ooh. I think it's a pickerel. Well, I don't know, whatever it is. It's. Oh, look at this. Holy crap. That is, oh, it's huge. Oh my God. That is absolutely, this, this is absolutely the biggest pickerel I've ever caught in my life. Look at this thing. Oh my God. This is like Northern Pike size. Holy crap. Easy, 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 easy. That's the biggest pickerel I've ever caught. Oh man, what a monster. Boom! <laughs> oh, I didn't measure him. I should have weighed him. I bet he weighed four pounds or better. Hit the chatterbait and just... Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was a beast. I thought that one I caught in Joaquina was big. That thing was huge. I didn't handle him as well as I'd like to have had, but he uh, he took off without any problems. 
You got line tangled all over the place. Holy moly. Oh my goodness, what a fish. Well, that made my day. I mean, you catch a fish like that, that just made my day. I've never, I never really thought about catching a pickerel that big in here. That's the thing, you gotta watch out with all this debris. You never know when some of it's gonna have branches that protrude out. See like that one right there. There we go. Oh man, got another one. This one's not nearly as big, but chatterbait's getting it done. Another decent pickerel. Not big like that last one, but a decent one. Easy. Come on, stop. Mm. Boy, they get that. They spit. Right, easy. You're getting me all slimy. This is a slimy kind of day. This went from being a uh, try to catch some perch day to uh, finding a pickerel honey hole. And I have no problem with that. do like the chatterbait that's for sure I got another one oh 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 this is uh this looks like a <laughs> This is a big fall fish on a chatterbait. Are you got to be kidding me? I've told you about creek chubs, right? Well, this is a creek chub, aka fall fish. Ow, man. Okay. Kind of like a sucker. I can't get my, I can't get my hand in his mouth to lip him. Look at that. Slimier than a pickerel. Creek chub, aka fallfish, on a chatterbait. <laughs> oh my goodness. This spot is awesome. Oh man, I drove that hook into my thumb. That's crazy. I saw that fish slash at it. I thought it was another pickerel. Turns out it's a <laughs> fish. Probably a pound and a half. Wow. Well, we're having some fun now, people. This is what I'm having all the luck on right here tore up my fluke. I don't know which one tore up my fluke. Could have been the pickerel. Oh, man. Yeah, this fluke looks like it's had better days. Let's see if I can run it through a little deeper. This, this color is definitely doing the trick. Chatterbait with a fluke. three fish right along right along the uh, debris catcher and I catch 
a PB pickerel, another decent pickerel, <laughs> and then a big, I don't know, 15, 16, 17 inch creek chub fall fish. Man, drove that hook. Luckily, the barb is way away from. So now this part of the debris catcher doesn't have any debris on it. Let's see how deep this is. This falls about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's only about maybe 10 feet here hmm. oh, oh that was a crappy cast Ooh, almost got backlash I told you about those fall fish they're pretty aggressive my son caught one bigger than that one on the Kuntukuk River on a popper on a pop R blew my mind when it hit I said oh you must have a pickerel on there and it ended up being about an 18 inch probably two pound two and a half pound fall fish oh oh, oh man that's another big pickerel no no this is a bass oh look at that that's a smally that's a big smally <laughs> Come out of the water! Oh, come on, baby! Oh, 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 man! Oh, look! At, oh. oh, oh, golly! <laughs> look at this small mouth. This is what I was after. Well, I was started off after perch. This is what I was hoping to catch over here. Oh, look at that! Oh, what a tank of a small mouth! I gotta weigh them. I do have my scale in here. This is probably a two and a half, three pound smallie for sure. Come on, where's that scale? There we go. All right, zeroed out. I saw two pounds eight ounces before the fish came off. Oh man. That's what I said. Two and a half, three pounds smally. On the chatterbait. The chatterbait is rocking it. Oh, my fluke is gone. Well, figures. He was jumping like a lunatic. He was. <laughs> what a day. What a day. That is a beautiful smallmouth. Man, come out of the water, jump in. <sighs> that camera is about to die, so I'm gonna shut it off. And I might just close this video out here. It's been a great morning caught three pickerel one of them got to be my personal best i caught a tank of a smallmouth um, close to three pounds and i caught four or five dinky perch and i was hoping for bigger but thanks for coming along beautiful morning happy labor day everybody this will be a few days late but i hope you had a great weekend and uh, we'll catch you next time. Peace.